Hi, first grade. Today we're going to continue talking about the moon. I am going to ask you to have out this book, which is out of the stars, the moon, and the sun bag on the moon. I am going to go ahead and share my screen and read it. But what you guys could do is be following along with me in your book. And you can look at the photographs close up to you. If anything is in color, then you will see it in color on my screen. But it'll just be awesome for you to actually have the book in your hands and be able to follow along with me with your finger as I am reading. After we read this story, I will show you our assignment for today. Okay, this is what the cover looks like of On the Moon. So make sure that this is in front of you and let's go ahead and start reading. On the Moon, it is written by Eugene Stanley and our focus question is, what is it like on the moon? So this is the question that we want to be able to answer when we are done reading this book. Right now, too, I want to just kind of talk through. This is a nonfiction text. It is full of true and real facts and information, and you may even see some really cool text features such as photographs, one of my favorite text features. Some words to know, which we talked a little bit about yesterday, craters, footprints, gravity, moon, protect, suit. The moon seems far away from Earth. It is the closest thing to Earth in space, though. Looks really beautiful, the sky and the moon. The moon goes around the Earth. It looks different every night. What is it like on the moon? And this is a cool photograph right here. I like this. This is showing the surface of the moon, but then back here you see Earth, the planet that we live on. The moon has many craters. Rocks fly through space, hit the moon, and create craters. So that's what's really cool. What I love about learning and researching and looking at different um, research for a specific topic, such as we're discussing the moon this week and yesterday, we looked at that pebble go, today we're reading this book, is that you may hear the same information repeated, but you may also hear different information. For example, yesterday we learned about craters and how craters are those bumps that, you know, make the surface of the moon really bumpy. And right here, it's talking about how those craters form. So rocks, flying through space that hit the moon, create those craters. The moon has less gravity than Earth. People can jump high on the moon. So right here you see this is an astronaut in all of that space gear on the moon, on the surface of the moon. The moon has almost no air. People cannot breathe on the moon and we need air to survive. It's what we breathe. We don't even realize we're doing it, but air is out you know, around us, surrounding us, and we breathe it. We could not live on the moon like we live on Earth. That is why when people visit the moon and they have these spacesuits on, they also need to have air in there that they can breathe. The moon has almost no water. People cannot drink the water on the moon. The moon has very hot and very cold sides. People cannot live on the moon. So that's crazy to think about too, that part of the moon is very hot and part of the moon is very cold. People have gone to the moon. Each person wore a special suit to protect them, which we see right here, that special suit. Look, they left footprints, a flag, and a spaceship. So this is really cool. If you look closely, you can see those footprints that the astronauts left from stepping on the moon. You also see the American flag that they stuck there and a spaceship. Okay. 
Awesome. What you guys are going to do today is complete another page. It is page six. This page is also found in the stars, the moon, and the sun bag. And what you are going to see is it says, the moon is, can, looks. Okay. So right here, you are going to make bullet points like we've done before. You do not have to write full sentences. You can just list words or you can list two words with bullet points. And I want you to list something that the moon is, something that the moon can do, and something and what the moon looks like. I'm only asking you to put one in each, but if you'd like to put two in each and you can fit two in each, go right ahead. So again, something that the moon is, something that the moon can do and what the moon looks like okay so kind of similar for looks is to what we did yesterday with describing the moon okay make sure up at the top you put your name and then after you finish writing your three examples you can go ahead and color this rocket ship and color the person in the rocket ship and then you will take a picture of your page and post it directly onto your class jojo portfolio all right, first grade, I am looking forward to seeing what you write. For this information, what you are going to want to do is either go back and rewatch the video and rewatch me reading, or you can actually go in your book and read again and read through these pages and pull out the information. You can also use information that you learned yesterday from PebbleGo, okay? All right, first grade, I'm looking forward to seeing your pages. Have a great day and I'll see you later. Bye.